All right, so Rarefied was designed by the great studio designer Wes Lachaud. Um, he's designed studios all over, all over the world. Um, and he's an amazing acoustician. Uh, this control room here that I'm standing in uh, features a, a very extensive diffusion system uh, by RPG Acoustics. Um, and just the nature of all the angles and the treatment uh, in this room, what you get in the sweet spot is called a reflection-free zone. So when you're listening to the, the speakers, you hear basically just the sound of the speakers with very minimal, very, very minimal uh, influence from the room itself. So that gives you a very accurate picture of what your, your mics are capturing and how your mix is coming together. So the main monitoring system in the studio are these Dynaudio M3As. Uh, they're soffit mounted and they're powered by Bryson amps and Bryson crossover. These are amazing speakers. They, they go down to 30 hertz. They go all the way up, you know, to 20 kilohertz. Um, and they're, they're truly meant to be the main listening monitor in the studio. They're not just for show. Um, so you get a very, very accurate picture um, of the full audio spectrum when you use these. So there's a secondary and third option for speakers of the studio that come up and down on these nifty motorized stands. Um, we've got the Aventone mix cubes and the Neumann KH310 speakers. Um, so the Neumanns are great. I mean, Neumann actually bought um, a company called Klein & Hummel. Um, so these are very similar to the Klein & Hummel speakers that you may have heard of before. It's a three-way speaker, so woofer, mid-range mid -range driver, and a tweeter. Um, nice and flat, um, but definitely give you something a little different than the Dynes. Um, the Aventones are there more for auditioning how things are translating to a more modest set of speakers. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room here. This is the new console at Rarified. This is a 32-channel 32, 32 AMS Neve Genesis. It's a modern Neve uh, with the legacy of sound of Neve, but a lot of new bells and whistles that you would expect in, in a modern production. So uh, first of all, I want to mention the beautiful custom desk uh, that this, this uh, console is housed in, which was built by Tony Brett of Brett Acoustics. Uh, he did a lot of uh, uh, internal installation, uh, acoustic treatment, and build out of the studio here, as well as most Westlake Show studios. He's he's quite a, a genius of a, a craftsman, a real craftsman. Um, so, I love the center section here that we did for it. Uh, you know, let's face it, there's a lot of Pro Tools use going on in, in today's production. So, um, having a dedicated space for computing uh, is is really great to have. Uh, I love this um, this wrist rest bumper area. Um, just a great look and a great feel. Um, but the desk itself, um, it's totally analog, but it's under digital control. Um, so for instance, all the uh, switches on here um, actually talk to a microprocessor, which then does the change in the circuit instead of being directly in the circuit. So that opens up things like having total recall on the board because uh, you, can, you can save all the states of the switches and then bring them right back. And a lot of the knobs are actually rotary encoders, so they, all, they also have instant recall. And other ones are analog, but they have a computer-aided system to, to get you uh, recall for them. Um, so, so that's great. It's got flying faders, um, so there's, there's a way to do analog you know, fader automation with the Encore automation from Neve. Um, and it also has a mode where it becomes a control surface um, and can control uh, Pro Tools or another DAW. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's 32 channels of 1073 style mic pre on here, complete with the Neve transformer. So it has that beautiful Neve sound. Um, now this half of the console has uh, 1084 three band style EQ. And the other half has a four band uh, ADA-RS style EQ. So kind of cool to have uh, both options there, three band, four band. Um, what's neat about the EQ is that uh, there, there aren't dedicated knobs on each channel for the EQ. You actually control it from these four rotary encoders. Um, so if you select a channel here, you get a visual of the EQ, um, and then you can change the frequency and boost and cut with these encoders. That means that you have total recall again of the EQ, instant recall. Um, 
as well as cool features like you can copy and paste EQ settings, you can link channels so that changing one changes the other. Um, and something I didn't really think about until I had the desk was when you're changing the EQ, you're sitting here in the sweet spot. It doesn't matter if you're EQing channel one or channel 32, um, you're, you're, you're in the exact spot you wanna be. Whereas before, if you remember from version one, if you watched it of the, of the whole video here, I had a Toft ATB32, which was a good console, but uh, you know, this is a huge upgrade. <laughs> um, but you know, I used to have the EQ on that board and I would, you'd be way over there, you'd be way over there. Uh, you'd be having to come back to the sweet spot to make sure that your EQ made sense. Um, so in this case, it's, it, you're hearing it exactly as it is, no matter what channel you're EQing. Um, so yeah, besides that, um, we've got uh, four mono aux sends, six, uh, two stereo aux sends. Um, we have four dedicated uh, effects returns, stereo effects returns with a width feature, which is kind of neat. Um, there's also uh, eight subgroups here um, and a very complete master section with all kinds of options. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive what they've done. Um, so yeah, all in all, this is, this is an amazing board. I'm very happy with it. And it really is kind of the best of both worlds, the old Neve sound, but all this modern uh, feature set. All right, I'm standing in one of the corners of the control room now where we have a big rack of synths here. Um, got a variety of things. So up top is this uh, Studio Electronics ATC-1. This is actually a totally analog synthesizer. Um, what's cool about it is these little cartridges that have different classic filter types in them from the Mini Moog and the ARP 2600 and others. Um, pretty cool synth. Uh, I actually usually have another uh, Studio Electronics one that goes here. It's called the Omega 2. It's out for repair right now, but that's usually there. And then we've got uh, two uh, analog modeling synths. So these are digital synths that do a pretty good job of kind of recreating a similar analog sound. We got the Virus and the MS2000. Um, and then there's two digital synths here, uh, the Korg Wave Station and the Roland JV2080. So if you need just like a regular piano sound or something or organ sound, you can just quickly grab some of that or there's lots of strange sounds in those. This is the MIDI interface itself. Um, so you can actually you know, plug in a MIDI keyboard here and route it to any of these keyboards uh, or you can run a MIDI sequence from Pro Tools to any of these units. Um, and just one last thing to mention over here is our ISO box for the computer. Um, so this is a great little way to keep the noise from the computer down in the control room and keep the computer cool. And works like a charm. All right, I'm in the other corner of the control room now here where we have an actual real tape machine. Uh, this is an MCI JH16. It looks like a 24 track, but this is actually a 16 track. So I put a 16 track head stack on here. So pretty cool, two inch 16 track. You get really wide uh, tra track width um, for each track. Um, this was uh, bought through Ma uh, Chris Mara of Mara Machines. That's why it says Mara here. Uh, he refurbishes old tape machines. He's based out of Nashville. Um, so yeah, a really cool machine, the JH16. Um, it came before uh, the JH24. Uh, once they got to the, the JH24, they pulled out like all the transformers. So this one still has all those transformers, all that color and vibe. Um, we've got the remote for it here. Still works. It's the rewind function there. Stop. And uh, even the uh, auto locate feature. Pretty cool. And uh, you also have a manual jog feature that's pretty neat here. Just as soon as you touch it, you can go backwards or forwards. Um, so yeah, you know, when you want tape, there's nothing like the real thing. And we got it here at Rarefied.